Hi, my peeps. It's about to go down. If you like what you see, stay in chill for a while. Hit the bell, thumbs it up, subscribe to my channel. We're going to have fun and do this mukbang. Guys, it has been a day, okay? A very hectic day. Um, but today we're going to have Dairy Queen. And we are having chicken strips, fries, and toast and gravy now with that being said that was not the plan today that's not what happened today what's happening now <laughs> but that's not what happened earlier um your girl is gonna venture out and go do some really awesome cool stuff i was gonna do a car bong and just have some fun okay and mind you, we live 20 miles from one town, 13, the other town. It's Coke. I drank so much Coke here lately, y'all. Not good, not good. Okay. I'm so glad to be here with y'all. You just don't know. This is so refreshing. Like I said, it's been very hectic today. I originally went to Huntsville. Texas. It's a college town. That was hectic in itself. Okay, so what happened was is I went through Whataburger. And I showed my whole order. I ordered my Whataburger. My husband was with me. We get there. Order it. I'm so hungry. But then we order up. Pay for it. They gave me the wrong order. They brought me out a kid's order. A kid's meal. I have to go back in. And y'all were all with me. While this was going on. Oh, excuse my cat. Just meowing down there. Um, and y'all were with me. So I go back in. Get it all straightened up. Get my water burger. Get in the car, drive, go park. Everything's good. At last. I'm 10 minutes in the video from start to where I was at. And my phone dies. But what happens is I have my phone set to nobody can call. Because, like I told you guys, until I get a camera. And make sure this is what I really want to do. I'm using my phone. I have it set so nobody can call. What I didn't do <laughs> is set the messenger no call. My son calls me through Facebook Messenger all the time. And I just took him home. Dropped him off 10 minutes, 20 minutes earlier. He called me. It cuts my whole video off. And that's okay. I don't know how to splice them together yet. But I'm going to learn it. So. My husband's over here laughing. Because he's not in the video. He doesn't want to be in the video. He's sitting over here laughing y'all. And I'm trying to talk to y'all. With straight face. And do this car bomb. So. <clears throat> we get it going. My mood at that point is just shot because I'm thinking, oh my God, how embarrassing. I already make a fool of myself not knowing what I'm doing. But my mood is kind of like, wow. So, I do another 18 minutes. And my phone cut. Well, I was going to end it anyway. I ended it. And thank goodness, my phone cut off again. I was like, was this not meant for me to do a car bomb today? So, I start watching it. I'm on the way home and I have my car up there. I'm the, my car, my phone on the dash. I'm thinking I can salvage it. I can splice it together. Even though I don't know how to do that. I can figure it out, right? I'm so sorry, y'all. That's my cat. You want a piece? Look. 
good white chicken. I like dark meat too, but that's good there. So, I'm listening and I sound like burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. You can't hear anything. I mean, you can, but it's more frustrating than anything. So I scratch it. And I'm having a bad hair day because in Texas, it's humid and it's rainy. The weather is ugly. And so my hair looks frizzy. Anybody that has curly hair knows about the frizz. Anyway, so. I just. I scratched it. We're on our way home. We come to this little bitty town. I was like, you know what? There's Dairy Queen. I'm going to grab some dinner. Hopefully I can eat it later. Because I only eat once a day. So I picked it up. Girl. That's my mom's cat. She's so bougie. She doesn't like the other cat. I'm so sorry, y'all. They're usually on the front porch, but it's raining. Even though it's covered, the lightning scares them. So they're in, inside. I mean, they stay inside and outside, but that's where they, they prefer to stay. But it's raining and lightning, so they're scaredy cats. Scaredy cats. So they're inside. Anyway. Um, what I was trying to say is, I can't even remember because it's my mom's cat so bougie and she's sitting here looking at me. You better not. Anyway, so. I stop and I get this. And I think I can eat it on the, when I get home. Just to give you guys a little something. Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be with you guys today. But remember, it's a little ways away, so. The fries aren't the best. And it's a little cold. I heated it up. But it'll do. I get to spend time with you guys anyway. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't like cats on the table, on the counters, anywhere where there's food. And this cat knows that. And it's peeking around the napkin holder, looking at me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. She knows about it. She's so bougie, though. She's spoiled. She doesn't like any of the other animals we have. Again, it's my mom's cat. So. Anyway. Thanks for letting me stress and rant and decompress with you guys because the day has been hectic. That was just a small portion. Oh, I don't think I finished. My son left his spaghetti in the car that I could. It was taken home for him because he lives on his own and his roommate. I don't think I finished that. Um, that's why he was calling me to tell me he left the spaghetti in the back seat. Could I please bring it back by? So he could have something to eat. As he destroyed my mukbang. With his messenger phone call. It's all good. I love my children. So, how were you guys today? Did y'all have a hectic day? Or did you have a good day? Is it raining where you're at? These fries are dead. I really don't like fries, and the only place I really, really like fries is McDonald's. This is oh, there's like a little bug, not a bug, but a little bitty gnat, not a gnat, but a little bitty outside moth-like thing flying around here. Like I said, you guys, if you don't know, we live on the lake, and there's so many little bitty things, creatures try to come in the house. I hope y'all had a good day, like I was saying prior to that. Mine was good. Ish. Until the whole mutt bomb thing, but I just because I'm nervous for you guys. Not with you, but about making it good for you guys. I'm not overthink it. I'm sure I do. And I 
didn't even realize I turned it on. Um, but yeah, here's my second meal of the day. We're going to do a, um, let's let the person in front of me order, but we didn't get up in time and it's such a far way to go to, to do it. So we're going to wait until a few more days and then we're going to go out and try it. My husband said he'll do it with me. I just said he wasn't feeling being behind the camera on his scene yet. It just never was his thing. But it was mine. I always wanted to do this. I he said he would probably do it with me, but after the first one, he's like, mm, maybe later. Maybe later. So, I can't be mad at him. He supports me. Nothing like cold food. I heated it up. It's just when you travel and you get food and you come home. I mean, you eat it right away. But I've had it for like three hours because I was full, guys. I had just eaten a beautiful carbane. <laughs> Let me save it. And after I get really, really good, um, just for kicks and giggles and for laughs, I may, I may put it up here and let y'all see. You know what? We'll go from a year from now. If I'm doing this, which I kind of think I will be, we'll go from today's date to next year. And we'll put comparisons to my third book bong, or first car bong, to this one. I mean, to that one that day. Something to look forward to. So, yeah, I think I'll do that. The chicken's really good. Just a little, a little cold. I really love their toast when it's hot and they're graving. No, I love their gravy. It's a little thick today, but I don't know about everybody else, but we Texans love gravy for the most part. We do. Um, and Texas toast. I got a tea, unsweet tea. Just because it came with a meal. But I'd already had this lovely Coke. That I got from Waterburger. Let me guys ask you. They brought this out to me, right? It's a big Coke. And gave me my food, and the bag was like about this big. I took it and I was like, hold up, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. So I look inside, and there's a kid meal. But I had to pull up. They gave me the Coke at the window, and I had to pull up and wait for it, so. That could have been it. I was hungry, y'all. I was not about to make that kids meal work. That was not happening. I went back in and got it. I wish I could see this cat. Go. Go. Go, Bougie. Her name is October. She's all white. Fluffy with a green eye and a blue eye. Just looking at me. Why she's named October, I don't know. I think my son and my mom found her in October. In a culvert, I believe. I could be wrong with the story, but. My son says it's his job. He stayed with my mom back and forth. She had cancer. Since 2009. Third time. And so he stayed a lot. They were very close. All my kids were close with her, but... My oldest son, Ty. He stayed with us, so he kept the cat here. At her place. But he was back and forth at my place, so he really... 
really wasn't with the cat. So it was basically my mom's cat. Um, and so we inherited her. So she's our bougie October cat. No, can't stand our street cat. <laughs> Not a street cat. It's good, y'all. Supposed to be cold. There you go. I'm so ugly outside today, y'all. Huh? It was raining. Human. Very human. Very, very human. Very miserable. It's one of the days you should just really stay at home and stay in bed. <clears throat> if you don't have anything else you have to do. But I had to get out, take my son home, do a little business. Um, I was going to talk to you about my mom and what happened with her. Because I brought her up several times. It was really hard, guys. It's hard to talk about it. She just passed away. July 14th. For me. <laughs> to me, it still feels like just yesterday. It was very hard. But um, my mom had ovarian cancer. We found it in 2009. Prior to that, years ago, she had thyroid cancer and she had breast cancer. She had a stroke at 27. So she, she lived a, I don't want to say she lived a rough life, but she lived a very strong life. So. She was doing really, really good, and she just gotten her hair done, her nails done. She was just living life, um, really good. And then she got sick, so she went to the doctor. And long story short, she got a kidney infection, and ultimately the kidney infections what made her really sick in the end. I sent her home on hospice and my sister does home health. We all worked in the medical field for years. They did. I, I dabbled in it. I have some medical degrees and stuff, but I stayed with TDC for the most part. But they sent her home on hospice and I was like, hospice, that's for somebody that's passing away. It's not my mom. I was the baby. I am the baby. And they really didn't want to tell me exactly what was going on. So I had to really put my big girl pants on and hit reality. Oh, yeah. She stayed at my sister's house. Very comfortable. Um, the day before she passed, I was really fortunate. Because I went over and I stayed with her the whole day. We sang. I took pictures. She wasn't very aware. She was aware I was there, but she wasn't herself. And uh, I had a really good time with her. We took a lot of good pictures. And the next day, my sister called me, and my other sister was there. And she goes, you know, I think you need to come over. Mom's not doing good. And mind you, the day before, I heard the breathing. I don't want to go into the breathing because it just gets me hard. But there's a, there's a word for it, and I can't even bring myself to say it. But... She was doing it, and I knew, but I didn't want to know. So, the next day, I went over, and she, she passed. My sister was never, was there. It was the hard, hardest day ever. I don't even think I realized time or anything until maybe six months later, actually. <laughs> I'm sure I did. But, I really couldn't focus on things, so, yeah. But things are getting better. It's not great. Things are getting better. I can deal with it a little bit more. Um, it was really hard because she left us her lake house. And so my husband and I both had quit our jobs, retired from our jobs. And 
we decided, hey, we can do this. We'll go out there. And it was really bittersweet, guys, because I had to go through all her things. Uh, her things are still around. Oh, her dishes and things. So it was kind of hard. But I love being out here. Um, we painted and we're painting and we're getting everything situated. So she'd be really proud. So that is why I decided, not her passing, but this is why I decided I was going to do this mukbang thing because for a couple of years I've been seeing it and I really wanted to do it. And I thought, oh, you're too old. You can't do it. Your kids, eh. your younger kids doing it. You're not going to be any good at it. I just kept telling myself all kind of crazy stuff. I realized. My mom lived her life to the fullest, even with cancer. She got out every day. She fixed her hair, got her nails done, got dressed up. You couldn't tell her nothing, okay? You just couldn't. She was 70, but she looked like she was about maybe 55. She acted like she was probably about 45. She just ripped and romped and just went everywhere and did everything. Just live life. Live life. I kind of was a recluse. I'm not a recluse person, but... I gained some weight and just didn't want to get out. And With her passing, it made me realize that life is way too short. I've got three beautiful children. I have a stepdaughter that I've helped raise from day one. Life is short. I'm going to live it. And this is one of the things I wanted to do. Flop? Okay. Go big and do great on it? Wonderful. Either way, I'm happy doing it, so... This is part of the reason why. Through my mom's courage and through her whole medical trial, she's the reason why I could get up and do this. So, yeah. I didn't want to go that deep, but it's been on my mind to let you guys know. And I keep saying that, you know, my mom passed away. Mom, and I just, I wanted to, like, clarify what would happen a little bit. So, wouldn't be dodgy about it. Mm. She's my rock. I feel her here everywhere with me. Oh, that's that story in a nutshell. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's one of my more personal stories. So, you know, I just want you guys to have a little piece of me. Um, I watch a bunch of uh, different YouTubers and some people like to talk. Some people don't like to talk. People like people talking. So, I'm very much a talker. In fact, I could probably talk more than I could eat. But I can do both pretty good, too. I'm sorry, guys. I'm picking around this because I already ate. But I wanted to give y'all something. This was not my meal for the day, like I already said. But... <laughs> oh, I'm picking around all of it. I think I'm pretty much done, though. But, um... Yeah, that's how my day went. Very hectic. And then now being here with you guys, I'm more calm. My day's going great. It is about, it's about uh, eight something. I'm going to go clean this up, chill, and then I think I'm going to go get in the hot tub and have a little mixed drink. We're also going to do a vlog later on. Once I get this down pat, once I feel comfortable doing this, we're going to start doing a vlog of uh, the hot tub, some drinks, some little cheese and stuff, and then just some talking. Uh, it's come spill the tea with tree, our last name's round tree, so yeah, y'all be sure and wait for that. It's not going to be anytime soon, but it's coming, it's coming. Anyways, guys, again, thank y'all. Um, Sorry about the hot mess of food. The plan I had was much better. Yeah, that's my little chihuahua dogs running in here. She's letting me know I've been in here out of the room too long. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for coming and sharing your time with me. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Not for sure what's going to happen, but I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Whether it's either bologna sandwich or some chips. But I'm going to be back. So if you like this, hit the bell. Subscribe, put a thumbs up, put a thumbs down, leave a comment, tell me what y'all like, what you don't like. If I'm doing something that annoys you, I mean, I'm probably still going to do it because I'm just me, but I'll be more aware of it. Just 
talk to me y'all tell me what's going on tell me what's going on in y'all's head um y'all got a topic y'all want to talk to me about if y'all want to ask some questions next time i come on i can answer the questions um let's just do some interacting here you know so i can get to know you guys too anyway don't forget subscribe hit the bell thumbs it up thumbs it down share and I'm on Instagram. Y'all can check me out on Instagram. Uh, Sky Rays Mukbang. Look it up. And uh, Twitter. I'm on Twitter as well. Sky Rays Mukbang. Well, actually, no, Sky. That one's Sky Rays with a Z. Because it used to be my tanning salon page. <laughs> I used to own a tanning salon too. So, anyway, guys, thank y'all so much. Um, it just can go keep going up from here. Can't go down, I hope. But anyway, y'all have a good day, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Peace out, my peeps.